four eyes, specky face. Laser eye surgery has come to mean treating someone who wears glasses or contact lenses so that they don't need them anymore. I have been short-sighted all my life as far as I can remember. I first wore glasses when I was four. And I had one point at school where the glass in my glasses was, was so thick that, that I was looking down and it actually fell out and broke through the plastic of my lenses and shattered on the floor, which was very hilarious for all my schoolmates. I work for a bank and I'm a fund manager. So that involves a lot of desk work. I try to avoid uh, the long haul traveling a bit, um, do video conferences as well. I can't walk around without glasses. It started when I was 18, really, and I partly blame computer work for it, I think, and working in offices with air conditions and stuff. I think I put a lot of stress on my eyes. When I started acting, my eyesight wasn't really a problem, but as I did more work with sort of very bright television and film lights, I just I found that it, my eyes were getting more and more tired at the end of the day with my contacts, which I think is part of getting older as well, but also quite specific to the job I do. I was thinking about uh, laser treatment when I heard about it, which must be like five, six, six years ago, so something like that. When more and more clinics started opening up, I sort of picked up flyers and phoned them up and said, you know, hello, I'm interested, and they'd say, what's your prescription? And when I told them, they'd say, oh, well, we can do one of your eyes, but we couldn't do the other. I was looking for high quality. And uh, the more places popped up, I felt like I lost my touch with really finding what the best, you know, person to go to would be. And um, I got, you know, generally very good feedback on eye laser. But I also heard about cases where people were just, you know, in a queue and then got onto the machine and got the laser treatment. And I just felt that, you know, my eyes are so important to me. I didn't want to go just, you know, to some some uh, chain that would treat my eyes and um, maybe, you know, mess it up. A friend of mine told me about London Vision Clinic and I telephoned them and they said, well, they said rather than straight off, we can't do one, they said, well, come in and have a look. And they sat me down and we had a lovely chat and they tested my eyes and then blow me down. Um, they actually said, yes, we can do something. And then probably a couple of days later came absolute terror. But the initial thing was just absolute astonishment when they said, yes, yeah, we can do it. The range of correction in refractive surgery is now pretty much unlimited. At my first appointment, they gave me a sheaf of questions that the London Vision Clinic recommend you ask any surgeon that you're considering using for this kind of operation. And a second sheaf of, of these questions with the answers given by Professor Reinstein. For example, safety records, safety of all the different procedures, just incredibly detailed but very impressive. For me that's really one of the key points really to see what risks am I taking. You know, I have only two eyes, I don't want to mess it up. Well the way that we manage fear is through confident evidence-based information, not hearsay. So we feel that what we're doing is on solid ground. Knowledge dispels fear. They are using um, the latest technology and they're using German technology as well, so I could relate to that. I met Professor Einstein and he explained that he's actually cooperating with size, designing the machines, you know, to his needs. I just felt I was in good hands when I met him, so I thought I want to go for the best. Becoming a laser eye surgeon can be a very short path or it can be an extremely long path and I uh, decided to take the long one. I, well, I went to medical school and became a doctor. I then specialized in eye surgery. Once I specialized in eye surgery, I then specialized in one part of the eye, which is called the cornea. That's the front window in front of the eye. And once I was a cornea specialist, I then specialized in altering the cornea to change the focusing. That's laser eye surgery. So. If I count the number of years that I spent training, that would be a total of 18 years. Okay. So how are you feeling? Uh, <laughs> I'm quite scared. <laughs> okay. Well, um, that would be normal. It would be, uh, 
it would be abnormal if you weren't a little bit scared, yeah? But, um, I'm not scared. Okay. All right. The laser that we use for laser eye surgery is a highly specific piece of equipment. And because it's a very high energy laser, the light is absorbed in a very, very small area of the cornea. And it just so happens that you can change the shape of the cornea by, by thousandths of a millimeter, and you can affect a change in the focusing of an eye. We've developed specific, well, specific ways of changing the shape of the eye mm. that achieve the correction, very high corrections, without compromising the night vision. And that's really uh, research that we've done over the last five years. Mm. So it's not new, but because we've used it now on quite a few people, but mm. it's very exciting because mm. we, we couldn't have done this before. In addition to correcting short-sighted and long-sighted patients with astigmatism, a large proportion of our practice is helping people who had perfect vision to start with and then age caught up with them and they're starting to have to put a pair of reading glasses in every room in the house. Uh, I need glasses for reading. Uh, I've worn them for over 15 years. So I don't have a problem seeing given I have my reading glasses. I just have a problem losing my glasses a lot. My work involves a lot of reading, a lot of computer work and a lot of mobile phone use, texting. It would be so simple if I never needed to wear glasses again. That's my hope. We've managed to develop a technique for correcting presbyopia or aging eyes. So we've got one eye that carries the vision from distance to mid and the other eye that carries the vision from mid to near. And we've addressed two things. The first is that the difference between the eyes, we've managed to decrease to such a small level that basically everybody can tolerate it. The second thing we've done is that we've improved on the optics of contact lenses. Because when you put a contact lens in your eye, you are changing the focus of the eye from one point to another point. And what we've done with these very sophisticated lasers is that we've learned how to reshape the cornea to change the focus of the eye from a point to a zone. 